The sun is slightly eclipsed before you see another party member scooped up into the sky inside the jaws of a flying beast. Before he drops him, you see its tail pierce your party member's body as a green liquid drips out as your party member falls to the ground, convulsing and almost paralyzed. Hello and welcome to Harvesting Monsters. Today we will be talking about wyverns. Now, there's a lot to go through, so we're going to be moving pretty quick, but look, wyverns are uh, a type of dragon that do not have any four legs. They have their wings, their back legs, and then a poisonous stinger. Though they do as have some semblance of an intelligence, usually around six. Um, so they prefer to be take on more brutish tactics. Think like the barbarian. They would be the barbarian of dragon tribes. All right, let's get into it. Um, as you can see, as I like the phoenix, I have a two die six chart, um, and this goes all the way up to twelve. So there's going to be lots of things. First things first, we have nothing at number two, nothing. And then we have roll twice down here at number 12. Now I want to remind all my players, viewers out there that uh, just because uh, I have this list and it's family encounter does not mean you don't have to have your creature always drop something. Like you could always harvest some amount of meat or hide from a creature like this. I would say meat more than hide. Um, speaking of meats, we're going to put meat over here at number five. Yeah, we'll put it at five. All right, meat. They are large creatures, so you're going to get a good amount from them. Uh, let's say two die ten pounds. Pretty rare item. It's going to be like crocodile. It's going to be a delicacy. Let's roll it out at uh, 20 GP per pound. All right. Now let's move back to the center of the chart. Number seven. What is the most common thing that we're going to be able to pull from this creature? Let's say their teeth. Uh, like crocodiles, they're probably going to have lots of teeth. They do have the improved grab ability that they can grab on with their teeth uh, this creature. There are going to be like hooks. Um, as we continue going down the chart, let's look at number eight. We're going to put their claws. We don't want to go too much into their abilities because that's safe for the next part. Um, next we have, oh, teeth. Uh, we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of teeth, two die ten teeth, and they will be worth, um, 25 GP each. And then claws. They don't have as many claws. It looks like they have four toes on each foot. Um, so we're going to put two die four claws. And those will be worth... Um, they'll probably be slightly bigger than teeth. So we'll roll it up to 30 GP each. Alright, let's keep on moving. Uh, number six. So just below... Um, the most common thing we're gonna put hide we're gonna put hide right next to meat and teeth the reason I put meat as more uh, less common is because like I mentioned beginning this is probably if they're gonna harvest it they're gonna harvest the meat um, so no reason to double dip so much um, and you'll get enough hide armor to make uh, a single creature um, single creatures uh, size category smaller um, and hide armor weighs weighs 25 pounds so we'll get about 25 pounds and it's going to be worth uh, it costs twice as much as masterwork armor so um, half the cost would be the cost of a regular masterwork hide um, 150 plus uh, 15 gold pieces all right we're gonna keep on pumping through we got the hide done we got the claws done we got the teeth done next um, I'm gonna have something pretty important the stinger now the stinger 
is a hollow bone uh, which allows them to inject their thing so their venom so because of this I'm going to have it be kind of like its own separate thing separate from the claws separate from the teeth we have this nice progression meat hide teeth claws stinger the stinger there's only one uh, sometimes you actually have a picture of two so it's kind of like this fork uh, kind of like fangs. I actually like that idea a lot. So they're kind of like fangs. So I die two stingers. Um, and we're going to roll it out to be 100 GP each. That hollow bone makes a great uh, tool for injecting poison. You can totally imagine a, an assassin's dagger made out of a wavering stinger. Uh, I love that. And then we're going to roll out venom. Now the venom is pretty expensive. Um, if you actually look at Wigan's Venom in the back of the core rule book, it runs at 3,000 gold pieces. That's before it's refined and able to be used, so we divide it by half, so it's going to be 1,500 GP. And there can be a die four vials that you could get. Alright? Pretty valuable stuff. Um, down here, we're going to put the wings. Now, the wings are very valuable because they allow the creature to do flight. Um, getting a creature this big flying, there has to be some enormous engineering properties. The membrane, pretty valuable. Um, the bones, hollow. So, for an intact wyvern ring, uh, let's roll it out. 300 GP. And you can have a die two of those. Next. All right, we have two things left. Uh, two very important things. First, the eyes. Uh, you know how I love putting eyes. Now the eyes here, they don't have the same kind of sight as um, Phoenix's, but they still have low light vision, dark vision. Um, so very good senses. A die two, 350 GP. And the very last thing, now this thing is going to be used a few times. It's going to be called the Dragon Adrenal Gland. Now if you know anything about dragons, you know that they kind of have a set resistances. Kind of like we have our own adrenal glands that give us a boost of energy when we're entering flight or fright, flight. Um, dragons have the same thing, uh, except theirs gives them immunity to sleep and paralysis. So we're going to roll those out at 500 GP each. Um, and I imagine they have two. They might have more. All right, so we got this beautiful chart already up um, for our players to collect from the Wyvern. Let's go through and think about its abilities. All right, so one, perception. Um, again, they had that low light vision. They had that dark vision. Um, low light dark they have like a plus eight bonus to perception so very valuable for making those types of potions uh, wings obviously flight speed uh, these aren't the fastest dragons there's drakes are a lot faster um, and regular dragons are a lot faster so um, I wouldn't be worried about that too much uh, we're gonna put movement as well uh, we're going to put food down for meat. They don't have any of the magical abilities that true dragons do. So nothing real spectacular here. Hide for armor and crafting. Nothing super interesting. They do have the teeth, which are for grappling. Uh, they do have the improved grab ability. Claws, that's for raking. They have the rake ability. Um, now, the way they rake so they grab onto with their mouth and they actually use their back feet to kind of kick the prey that's what a rake is so if you have a cat and you see them like grab a toy and they lay on their back and they're kicking it with their back paws that's a rake attack so if you ever have trouble describing that to players that's what rake means all right stinger uh poison and then this is another chemical reagent and this is the immunity to sleep and paralysis so everything's actually very instinctual. This is actually a pretty clear cut and dry chart um, compared to other ones. Uh, so because they're kind of brutish, um, 
maybe we put strength as if we want to do things that add strength. Um, not intelligence, not charisma, not wisdom, uh, not even constitution. They're not particularly sturdy creatures either. So they are strength-based creature. Fantastic. So now that we have that done, let's move on to making a special magical item with this creature. All right, so the item that we're going to be making is called the Scabbard of Predation. The Scabbard of Predation um, is going to capitalize on that poison ability and that rake ability. It's going to confer, when activated, um, it gives whatever weapon that you're wielding the speed ability and you can cast poison on your first hit. So speed for five rounds and poison for first hit. Now speed is a plus three bonus and poison is a third or fourth level spell. I will double check. Poison is a third level spell. All right, so let's rock this. We've done this before where it's given um, weapon abilities. So first we gotta do, square it. And we're not gonna multiply by 2000 because we're still using my house rules. So square times 1000. Uh, it's not on an actual weapon, so improper item, multiply, increase it by 50%, um, and it's usable once per day for five rounds. And then poison, three times, five times 2,000, because it's use activated, times one-fifth, also once per day. So we go through and we calculate that out. All right, very good. So we got 2,700 plus 6,000. So we're actually doing pretty good here. Um, but we do need to do one more thing. Because these are unlike abilities, we have to multiply this by 1.5. That's going to be change it to 4,000. Uh, let's move over here. 4,050 plus 6,000. So we get 10,050. So 10,050 for the ability to basically get another attack for free for one minute uh, each day. And that first attack can inflict poison. Um, if you need to know the DC, the DC would be 14. All right. So second attack that's gonna be really useful just be able to get the speed ability um, it emphasizes that the wyverns just brutal attack pattern poisoning dealing an extra attack um, I like this weapon a lot um, or not weapon but scabbard so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it uh, please like and comment down below uh, share with your friends um, and ask any questions if you want to see me do another monster please leave it down in the comments down below and I will uh, do that for you show you what you can get from it and what you can make thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time Bye.